Guys, it looks like the power couple is breaking up. And I'm not talking about Barack Obama and Michelle or Beyonce and Jay-Z. I'm actually talking about Apple and Goldman Sachs. Yes, guys, Apple and Goldman Sachs is having trouble in their relationship and probably going to come to an end pretty soon. In today's video, I'm going to explain step by step how this can help or hurt the future of the Apple consumer market credit cards. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Guru. I create the first cloud based software. It allows you to put your credit repair experience into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, I'm super, super excited because I have a banger. Today's video, we're going to talk about Apple and their boo, Goldman Sachs. But before we get into the video, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows YouTube to push this content to a wider audience. It also allows YouTube to push this within an algorithm and allows us to leave these lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. If you have anything derogatory in your credit report, I mean, anything negative charge-offs late payments bankruptcies medical bills guys you name it please go over to mycreditapproved.com it's the website and the software that i was telling the, telling you about that allows you to put the full experience to your own hands guys people are removing thousands of dollars worth of debt by themselves they are no longer using credit repair companies that are putting this information in this experience into their own hands and appreciating on a deeper level guys please go to mycreditapproved.com check out the software and start removing these items Items, guys if you have anything derogatory on your credit report now let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video guys I'm super excited about this video because this is very interesting I've been following the relationship of Goldman Sachs and Apple for quite some time and it looks like the relationship is coming to a head so let me dive straight in so basically Goldman Sachs reported in January that their relationship with Apple has literally cost them a billion dollars over the course of a few years and despite that billion dollar loss Goldman Sachs in February of 2023 basically said that they are still confident in the relationship of Apple and their consumer market now right now it doesn't look that way for those that have been following along this news isn't that surprising but it certainly doesn't align with the recent comments from Goldman Sachs in October of last year Goldman Sachs CEO Solomon said that this company had reached a deal with Apple to extend a partnership through 2029 guys they were initially Initially, estimating for this relationship and partnership to last to 2029 and it looks like it's coming to an end pretty soon now in January Goldman Sachs revealed that they have lost over a billion dollars like I said in Apple cart partnership in February however the bank said it was still committed to the partnership with Apple despite their losses it's a very very strong partnership where there's a lot of opportunity Solomon said if today's report is to be believed it wouldn't say Goldman was committed talk about mixed signals so yeah guys this is very interesting because it gives not a lot of confidence when it comes to it doesn't get a lot of confidence when it comes to markets adopting consumer products um, like a Goldman Sachs or um, one of those bigger institutions this is probably one of their first opportunities to jump over to the consumer market and it doesn't what they doesn't look like they're doing well despite being stuck in a happy relationship Goldman Sachs recently expanded its relationship with Apple with the launch of Apple cart sales Savings account. Goldman Sachs is also an issue of the MasterCard payment credential used to complete the Apple Pay later purchases. Bloomberg has also reported on Apple's ambitions for financial services under the company's project breakout strategy to bring more of the finances tech in house. This will reduce its reliance on companies like Goldman Sachs. Now, how is Goldman Sachs losing so much money? Now, this is very interesting because the article basically said that Goldman Sachs is losing money because it doesn't have a lot of the assorted fees that traditional cards have now Apple as always always want to separate themselves from the pack they always want to separate themselves with quality they always want to separate themselves with a certain type of consistency when it comes to their product and obviously they want to go on a little unorthodox with their products in the consumer market consumer credit card market as well and that does and that is the high yielding savings account that most institutions do not give and also not having a lot of the fees that a lot of companies also give as well so it said that first Apple card doesn't 
charge user any any fees other than interest other car companies nickel and dime the, with these things late fees and foreign transactional fees but apple card does not second goldman has also been very liberal in approving people for the apple card this has led to the bank having a charge off balances at a much higher rate than banks like chase and the bank of america here are some numbers from the company's recent regulatory filings goldman has a 2.93 net charge rate charge off rate double of that of Chase and Bank of America. Charles offer typically after a, cons uh, a customer misses payments of for six months. Interest is one of the most lucrative ways credit card companies make money. But if the customer simply stops paying the bill altogether, the bank can't collect the interest at least right away. More than a quarter of the Goldman card loans have gone to people with FICO scores below 660. So it looks like Apple tailored to a high risk audience. And because of that, the audience did exactly what was expected and not paid their bills and because of that it's not looking good for this uh service or credit card as a whole uh, and it's really unfortunate because these type of products in my opinion is needed in the consumer credit card market because we really don't have a lot of benefit with these interest rates or just just parking your money and i'm really talking about the apple savings account if they you know debunk the credit card the, the savings account probably is going to go with it because it has a lot of ties with it actually you have to have the credit card to get the savings account so um, it goes hand in hand and if they're going to debunk one they might do both all this on and it's like i said it's really unfortunate because these type of creative finance products is what the market needs it needs to be continually evolving and for the customer making the experience of the customer a lot more easier and convenient and also allow the customer to benefit from the relationship all is on. And I think Apple really hit the mark with this car and I really feel like it's unfortunate that this is the outcome of it. Now, there are some rumors um, floating around saying that American Express is going to replace Goldman Sachs in this deal. A deal with the Amex isn't intimate or assured. People familiar with the conversation said that it can take a while to transfer the partnerships in, in any case. Apple would have to agree to a transfer the tech company is aware of the talks which have been ongoing for months the people say so none of this is is 100 concrete but it is speculation a lot of speculation in the finance uh, rumor mill basically saying that amex is going to pick up the contract from goldman sachs and tailor to these products a lot better which obviously amex is one of the biggest in the business when it comes to consumer credit cards so yeah i think that this is very interesting but i also think that it's unfortunate all in every regard because like I said these products is what shapes and evolutionize the consumer credit card market and it is so unfortunate because guys when you have an opportunity to build a relationship with a company with a 660 credit score and you jack it up it really just make the relationship for everyone a lot more worse because now they have to have a higher risk tolerance I mean a lower risk tolerance for for people to get approved and you know I teach credit I teach how to get these type of products and I love products that tailor to people that starting over everyone make mistakes and with the school system not teaching this stuff it just allows for a harder experience to actually reach the top of credit so getting a Apple product and getting an Apple credit card to build a relationship with a company like Apple can not only open doors for other companies but actually open doors with this one and expand your horizon your leverage in credit as a whole but we are not hitting the mark guys the low and average credit score people are not hitting the mark they are consistently getting charge offs and they're going to ultimately make it very hard for other people to get products like this at a very higher credit score so guys let me know in the comments how you feel about this do you think that the apple credit card um was something that is needed do you think that the apple credit card is something that was just a fad let me know in the comment section i'm very interested in the comments guys until next time take care of your credit and take care of yourself credit goes you out